In this lecture, we're going to see how you can install Code Lite on Windows. And this is just another IDE that you can use to compile your C++ programs using an installed compiler like GCC10. Here we are on the website for Code Lite. It is codelite.org, as you see here. And you can download it for whatever operating system you are on. It works on a host of operating systems, Windows, Linux, and Mac. I am on a Windows system, so that's where I'm going to download it. If you hit this download button, your download should start in a minute. And you're going to come here down to stable release because we don't want to use things that are unstable. And you're going to download whatever makes sense for whatever system you are on. If you are on a 64-bit operating system, this is what you're going to take. If you are on a 32-bit system, this is what you're going to take. So I am going to download this. If you hit save file, this is going to start downloading on your system. And we're going to wait for this to finish. I already have this downloaded, so I am going to cancel out of this. Let's go in my download folder and see if I can actually find that. If you click to install it, you're going to follow the instructions. You're going to choose the defaults. They're going to work just fine. Mine is installed in my program files, program files, code light. This is where it is. You can put it here if you want, or you can put it wherever you want in your system. Once it's done, you're going to start it up. And I'm going to open mine here. I'm going to go to start and say code light. It's going to show up here and I'm going to open it. Okay, it's opened up now. And what I need to tell it is which compiler to use so that we can compile C++ applications. The way you do this, you come to settings here and you choose build settings. And once you are here, it may have auto detected the GCC compiler, but if it doesn't auto detect it, you're going to have to put that in manually. So we're going to hit the green button here, add an existing compiler, and we're going to go to see where our compiler is, mintgw 64 bin. We're going to choose this folder and we're going to select it. Once we do this, it's going to detect that the compilers are in this folder. You see it has information about this compiler. We're going to say GCC. You can name this however you want. GCC 10.2.0 and we're going to say mingw. I think this is descriptive enough for our purposes. If we hit OK, it's going to detect it. And it is now in and we can use it to create C++ applications. We can hit OK now. And the first thing we need to do in Code Lite is to create a new workspace because it is based on workspaces. You create a new workspace by hitting new workspace here, or you can come to file, new, and do new workspace. It's going to do the same things. We want a C++ workspace. This is what we're going to choose. And we're going to tell it where it's going to go. I'm going to choose a location on my drive. Let's go there pretty fast. I want my workspace to be in this location. It's a lengthy one because there is a file structure I am following for this course, but you can put this wherever you want on your system. And we're going to call this workspace template project. And we're going to hit OK. This is going to create our workspace. In this workspace, we're going to create a new project. The project is going to have a name. So we're going to say C20 starter project. You can call it whatever you want. It's going to be a console application, choose this. We're going to choose simple executable, G++. This is going to work fine. The compiler we're going to be using is the one we just set up, C++ with GCC. It's saying CC, I forgot a G, but no big deal. We're going to choose this and we're going to hit okay. Make sure you have these settings in. You chose console, simple executable using G++ and your GCC compiler should be chosen here and the debugger, GNU GDB debugger, it's going to work fine. We're going to hit OK. And it's going to say that we shouldn't have spaces in our project. So we're going to say CPP20 starter project. This is probably going to work fine. We're going to hit OK. And our project is going to be created. If you look in here, you're going to see that it's not really a C++ program. This is a C program. 
but we're going to put in our test C++ program so that we can get this to run a C++ program. I am going to grab a program from a file I have on my drive here and I'm going to paste it in. If you don't have this program, you should get it in the resource section on this lecture. It's going to be and you can copy it and put it in here. And you don't have to understand this program right now. We are just setting things up to have an environment where we can work. So we have our program here and we wanted to compile it in C++ 20 mode. For that, we need to tell CodeLite that it should use C++ 20. And to do that, you come to the project here, you right click, you go to settings, and we're going to choose compiler. And we're going to come to C++ compiler options. We're going to click on these three dots. And in here, we're going to type our option to make it compile in C++ 20 mode. You have seen this before many times. So we're going to say dash std equals C++ 20. And this is going to do, we're going to hit okay. We're going to apply and click okay. And now we are ready to compile in C++ 20 mode. The way we compile, we come to build and choose build project. And it's going to give us information about what it's doing. And you see that zero errors, zero warnings. This is a good message. Okay, now that we have the project building fine without errors and warnings, we can run it. You can come to build and run or you can hit control F5. It's going to do the same thing. You're going to run it and you're going to see the same content we've seen before for this program. It's going to print our value here. And this proves that we can work with CodeLite now to develop C++ 20 applications. Now, we have a project set up, but we don't want to go through this pain to start a new project to do C++ 20 development. We have set up the compiler, we have a debugger, we have all kinds of crazy things set up. We want to reuse this template every time we create a new project. That's what we're going to do. If you want to do that in CodeLite, you can come to the project here and right click and you want to save it as a template. You're going to put in the name here, so we're going to say C++ 20 project template. It's going to be a console application. And here you can put in a description. We're going to put in the same thing. We don't really mind. And once you have this, you can click OK, and it's going to be saved by code light. We can actually remove this project. Let's say remove project. And we're going to remove it. And we can create a new project just to show this off. We're going to say new project. And here in the category, we can choose console, but in the type, you're going to see that we have C++ 20 project. We can select this and we can hit okay. Project name must not contain spaces so we're going to say project 2 you can put in whatever name you want and it is our c plus plus 20 project template that's what we're using here and it is what we want to see so we're going to hit okay if we go in you're going to see that it's going to be the same code we had in our template project if you go in settings you're going to see that it's using our c plus plus 20 option and it is ready set up, we can hit control five to run the project and we can start writing C++ 20 code right away without having to set up the compilers again. This is really all we set out to do in this lecture. Congratulations, you have code light installed and you can use it if you want to build C++ 20 applications. But this is not going to be our main idea in the course because Visual Studio Code works better and I uh, think it's a better option to teach C++ but if you want, you can use CodeLite, and that's why I showed you how to set it up here. We're going to stop here in this lecture, and in the next one, we're going to see how we can install a compiler on the Linux system. Go ahead and finish up here and meet me there.